Is Johnny Depp really blind in one eye? And why does he always wear those tinted sunglasses? If you want to know the answer, keep watching. I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. But today we are talking about Johnny Depp. Of course, he's been in the news a lot lately. Now, is he really blind in one eye? Well, of course, I don't know for sure. I'm not his eye doctor, but I was able to piece together what's publicly available information. And I think I have an answer for you. So back in 2013, he actually gave an interview and during that time he said that he was blind in the left eye and really, really nearsighted in his right eye and that's why he wears glasses all the time. So still, that doesn't give us a lot of information. There's a lot of different reasons to lose vision or be legally blind in one eye. I'm actually fellowship trained in pediatric ophthalmology, so I deal with a lot of the conditions that affect children. And he did mention that he had poor vision all his life. And in fact, this came up during the court testimony recently. He once again mentioned that he was legally blind in his left eye and that his mom used to make fun of him for it, which is really, really awful. He said that his mother called him cockeye or one eye, and his sister even mentioned that Johnny had a condition called amblyopia for which he wore a patch when he was young. Now this really breaks my heart because I take care of a lot of children with amblyopia and who are doing a lot of patching treatment. And it's a really challenging thing to undergo. I mean, your friends make fun of you, people are always staring, but for your own mother to not be in your corner is just, that's really devastating. And as a mom of three kids, like my heart really breaks for him with regard to that. So what is amblyopia? So what amblyopia is, is when the vision fails to develop properly in one eye during childhood. You can't get amblyopia if you're an adult. This is a condition that only happens during childhood when the vision processing centers and the optic nerve connections, they're all still really forming in young kids all the way up until about age 13. So there's nothing wrong with the eye itself, but it's the pathways from the eye to the brain that are not formed. And I've done an entire, you can check out the video I've done on just what is amblyopia and patching treatment if you are interested in that. But let's get back to John. So causes of it can be, the most common cause is a muscle imbalance. So that's where, I think the mom was calling him cockeyed. That's when you have an eye that either crosses in or wanders out. So a muscle imbalance can cause the vision to decrease in one eye. If you have an unequal amount of glasses prescription in the two eyes, he did mention that his right eye was still really nearsighted, but maybe his left eye is way more nearsighted, or maybe the left eye is really farsighted. If there's that asymmetry between the two eyes, that can also be a setup for amblyopia. And then the third reason is that something is depriving the eye of vision, like either a droopy lid or a cataract. Again, this is when you're a kid. So if you have a cataract when you're an adult, you cannot get amblyopia from that because your brain is basically set by the time you're about 13 or 14 in terms of your visual connections. So what are the treatments for amblyopia? Glasses, which Johnny wears almost all the time. Patching. So what patching is, is you actually place a patch on the better seeing eye in order to force the brain to use the weaker eye. It's like working out for the worst seeing eye because when both eyes are open, your brain is always going to want to prefer to see with the better seeing eye. That's just the way the brain works. So if you close the better seeing eye, you force the brain to use that weaker eye, and then it actually makes it stronger and boosts the vision up. It can take months or even years of patching treatment to improve the vision. And so it's a really long course and it's difficult for a lot of the patients I have. A third treatment is a dilating drop. So I have some kids that they are two or they're three and they rip that patch off their face and parents are having a really hard time keeping it on. So sometimes what we do is use a dilating drop. Like when you go to the eye doctor and we put those drops in and they make everything really blurry. That's what we do, except a longer acting version of it. And so then it's basically doing the same thing as wearing a patch on the eye. It just makes everything really blurry. So your brain, again, is forced to use the weaker eye. 
And then now, thankfully, there are some virtual reality headsets coming out that might be helpful and have been shown by a lot of different studies to do the same thing as wearing a patch. So I know a lot of kids are gonna be really happy when some of those get to market later this year. So it sounds like from Johnny's testimony and even that of his sister that he has amblyopia, he wore a patch on the right eye, but he's still really nearsighted on the right eye. So if it wasn't treated well and adequately when he was really young, and it sounds like maybe his mother was really not on board on helping him, then unfortunately that vision loss is permanent. And then there's really nothing that can be done at this later point. The other thing I've always looked at is I've seen him wearing those tinted glasses. And I don't know if he just wears them because he likes having a little bit of tint in them because it's got so much prescription and maybe it just hides the thickness of his glasses or if he's a little bit light sensitive. It's not really typical that people with amblyopia are more light sensitive than people without, but if there's a little bit of strabismus or muscle imbalance and the eye crosses in or wanders out, sometimes some of those individuals can be a little bit light sensitive. I've never personally noticed that him looking um, as if he's got any eye misalignment when I've watched him in all his movies. So there you go. It makes a lot of sense that he does have extremely poor vision and it's really awful. It sounds like he went through patching treatment and a lot of different things and a lot of verbal abuse from his mother. So if you see a child with a patch or undergoing this kind of treatment, I'm just going to advise everyone just to be kind because we can all make the world a better place. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. I read through everything. If you've got any ideas for future videos, I'd love to hear them. And please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep this channel going. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.